Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Friday. Um, I guess Micah's not having a good one right now. Things are getting ugly real quick. Zero to 60, just like that. Um, Malik Hooker went on with... Uh, Keyshawn Johnson and aired some Cowboys laundry um, on the show. And this 26-second clip is probably all you really need to know about what happened. Let, let's go to the clip. Problem with it. My thing would be, though, uh, for Micah, my advice would be for Micah would be, you know, just make sure we're all right, you know, where we're, we're, and being where your feet are because if we're at work and – you know, the run game's terrible, but you're doing a podcast every week and you know the run game is terrible, then, you know, what are you really caring about? Are you caring about the crowd that, you know, is watching your podcast? Are you caring about the success of our team and the Super Bowl that we're trying to reach? See what I'm saying? So, I have a problem with it. My thing would be, though, uh, for... Yeah. So, you know, he kind of put him on blast and said, hey, look, you know, you, you, you got your main gig. You got to make sure you take care of that. To Micah's defense, I will say that um, the days he, he does the podcast on Tuesdays, and I believe he does it from his house. And, you know, just like I sit right here in my, my studio, you know, he's got his game room and everything else that he does, you know, his podcast, as far as I know, on Tuesdays from his home. So I don't know that necessarily that that's the, the, the focus. But here's the thing. When, when you're not winning... When you're not winning and succeeding the way you're supposed to, you got to look at everything that you're doing and figure out, is there any distractions whatsoever? So I understand what Malik Hooker is saying. I definitely understand that. I'm not sure putting it out in public is where you really want to do that. But then again, maybe this is the way of getting attention because, you know, Micah is Micah. Here's Micah's response, which has now been deleted. It's it was deleted. He put this out. Okay, see this is where social media is an incredible thing. The fact that I can literally be, you know, if I was I've been in my mama's basement before and done a broadcast, you know, or done a video or, you know, being here at the Red Brick House, that you don't have to be right there on a radio station or on a TV to be able to talk. And what's happened is everything is now in social media. We have conversations. People don't go talk to each other one-on-one. -on -one. It's kind of like, well, text me. It's like, well, you're right here. Well, just text me the information. What? You're right here. Let's have a conversation. Oh, no, no, just text me later. So anyway, this is Micah Parsons' response, and he doesn't sound happy. Just wish you said this to me, but instead on some podcast. And you got my number, family. Okay, explanation points after both of those sentences. Let me read it again. Just wish you had said this to me, but instead on some podcast, explanation point. And you got my number, family, explanation point. Malik Hooker 24, his YouTube, excuse me, his Twitter handle. And you, my locker mate. So you could have said this any day, explanation point, And you do... And you do realize I shoot the podcast on our off day, explanation point. I, why ain't we talking about everybody preparing and focusing and leading up to the game week? I mean, I can point out a lot of other things, but I'm just not. Micah Parsons pissed. Micah Parsons doesn't like to have... Be, to be shaded. He, he does, I mean, who, who does? Who likes for somebody to put them on blast out there in the media knowing that this shit will go viral? Now, the problem here is now you've actually acerbated, acerbated, made it worse, damn it, by now going out here with all of the explanation points, one, two, three, four, five, six explanation points, one after each sentence. Now that is looking like drama. 
your teammate, your locker room, your locker mate, you guys got to work together. But when you fail, and I mean all of you, all of you failed, if you're not pissed off and trying to figure out what the hell happened, then you shouldn't be a football player. You shouldn't be a football player. You are great. Incredible. A phenom on and off the field. And you have to be the leader to get this thing done. You can't show these emotions like this on uh, Twitter. You can't have an argument with your teammate on Twitter like this. Um, because this is exactly what everybody's looking for. There ain't nothing going on right now. This will probably be bigger than uh, an Eagle linebacker stiffing a uh, prostitute and getting run down by her. Because that's the way it is when you're a Dallas Cowboy player. We'll see where this goes. And again, Micah Parsons uh, popping that out there. Um, Des Bryant, I don't think this play is play uh, at all. He could have easily pulled Micah to the side and said he felt some kind of way. By the way, I don't see no wrong in what Micah is doing. That's from Des Bryant. Micah shows up whenever it's time to perform, and that should be the only thing that matters. So, yeah. We're getting all kinds of people chiming in on this one. Um, Cowboys fan talk. My man, Rome. Micah was right. Malik out of pocket. Um, Micah Parsons not happy with teammate Malik Hooker for saying he should focus on the team and not his podcast. In a since-deleted post. Here's the full segment, just a snippet of Malik Hooker speaking about Mike and the podcast from Keyshawn's show. So he's got the whole piece on there. Okay, so we'll definitely check that out. We'll be talking about this more. I'll do some more research between now and 9 p.m. so we can get this story straightened out and uh, figure out what's what, who's who, and where do we go from here. Because it, it's not pretty when you have – we got enough people – trying to bring us down we got enough more than enough people that want to make us look bad we don't need ourselves to uh make us look bad we just don't all right good people we will uh see you guys soon peace out